Some rental services are popping up near college campuses across the country. It's part of a new trend where parents are hiring professionals to do some of the things they are not able to do, including deliver medicine, assemble furniture, and even help dress students for job interviews. Mindy Horwitz runs one of those concierge services for parents, and she joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. Might our kids be better off in the long run if we let them figure this stuff out themselves? We let them figure out a lot for themselves. We are here to help support parents and help answer questions for parents who are sending their kids far away. So what are some of the things that you will do for parents? It's uh, like $450 a year plus delivery fees. What kind of things are included? We include unlimited local recommendations. So if you are coming to town for your family weekend, we will help break down the internet and show you where to go for dinner, what activities are in town, or local resources. In addition to that, we provide deliveries for students when need be, if it's chicken soup when they're sick, or a passport that's FedEx to my home rather than the mailroom, which is delayed. We, we do deliveries and unlimited local recommendations for families. So you say you're doing this to help parents. Clearly, the students get help, too. And I think you would agree that, you know, back in the 80s when we were all in college, none of this took place, and we turned out just fine. Why suddenly do we feel there's a need for this? I'm also nostalgic for the 80s. I went to school with a cell phone in a bag in my car that I wasn't allowed to use unless it was an emergency. So we are here, we're in a different era and everything's available on the internet. We are just like having a local parent here in town in several towns at this point in Chicago at Northwestern, at Skidmore in upstate New York and in, in Connecticut at University of Hartford. And we just keep things local. We're like having a, a, a aunt or a sister or a sorority sister in town and we are here to help with anything somebody might need to keep things local what's the strangest request you've had <laughs> i did have somebody uh tell me that her student had bed bugs we had to figure out how to remediate those um, and find a local service to help with that that's about the strangest most of the requests are really pretty reasonable parents are just doing their best and trying to, to figure things out from afar. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you have a background in social work. Are there requests ever more on the emotional, psychological side? Do you feel comfortable stepping into that space? I don't, I don't, I am a social worker by training, but I will refer people to the proper um, medical professionals when they need them. That's not my job in this, but I am happy to share our best local resources. Do any of the kids resent this? Like, oh, my mom, are you kidding me? You know what I mean? <laughs> I have had kids who are on the more shy end of things, and we respect that. We're going to be wherever the kids need us to be. If we need it to be very low key, we're very low key. If um, they're more comfortable, then we'll step in and have a little conversation. It really is um, based on what the kids need. Interesting. Well, for more, you can check out MindyKnows.com or you can follow her on social media. Thanks, Mindy. Thank you. Thank you so much.